Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Queen's Wish. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today because we keep finding ourselves in t in more dungeons. We just keep finding the dungeons and a narrow land bridge extends over the lava lake. It's murderless mur mur I I I can pronounce that word. It's murderously hot. The ground shakes under your feet constantly. You wonder if your mother pictured you in a place... No, you don't wonder about your mother, because you hate her. At least my character does. Anyway, uh, pictured you in a place like this when she sent you on your little sacramentum adventure. If you step out on this bridge, you will be in great danger. I believe you sp onto this bridge, you you'll be in great danger because the of the shakes. Uh, also, I... Taking it more seriously, though, I do expect m m Mother to um, to have pictured us in uh, in this situation. She probably wants us dead. That was the impression I was given at the beginning of the game. Um, well, at least the impression I got from um, that is a noise that happened uh, from the uh, from the way she's introduced. The ground buckles under your feet, throwing you to the ground. The lava, sorry, the land bridge behind you crumbles and sinks into the lava, trapping you. As you rise to your feet, wondering how you will retreat to safety, a single insectoid leg extends up out of the lava and, and grabs the solid rock. It hoists a big scorpion up, enormous. It glows red from the heat of the lava. It senses you and lets out a long screech. Scorpions can talk? Question mark? Close parentheses? What? No, Screech is not talking. It is screeching. Either way, uh, then the magical ravenous monstrosity lunges towards you. The biggest concern here is that um, none of this is possible. Lava is so hot, you would die. It's just mostly how it goes. Um, also, the thing is, lava is molten earth. Why is this earth not molten? You know what I mean? Also, it's red because it's on fire. As in, there's no oxygen there. Like there, the, the what happens to volcanoes that have oxygen is you can't see the lava because the, they produce smoke because they're all on fire and it's it, the oxygen disappears. Lava is so hot it doesn't even need oxygen. <laughs> well, it's not quite like that. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot more complicated than that. Um, and apparently, my understanding is not good enough because I I did look it up after I commented. I think I was playing Elex on this channel, and um, I was talking about how lava. I think that's where I started calling it molten cheese because it is molten cheese, uh, the way we treat it in video games in general. Um, but uh, yeah, lava is just brutally, brutally bad and evil for everybody and everything. It will just kill everything. It will melt everything. It will melt you. You'll suffocate. For what? Like that's the thing, though. The that's the, I think that's the biggest thing. It's not even about the heat that mostly just radiates from lava. It's because uh, you know, radiation is not a good good source of heat transfer or a good way to transfer heat. And that is the biggest heat transfer that lava does. It's radiation. So you can you can tell how powerful it is. It's how hot it is. It's usually like five thousand degrees <laughs> or four thousand degrees. I think it's the the. I think the, for this for it to be like this, it needs to be at least four thousand degrees Celsius. Um, but it, the point is, the the biggest issue with lava in the way we treat them in in movies and video games is that it just consumes the oxygen. It's not as clear cut as I'm making it to be. So it is possible for volcanoes, as 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 far as I was told when I looked it up. Um, it's possible for volcanoes to for us to be close to volcanoes. It's just not in this situation. In this situation, the oxygen wouldn't exist in its dungeon. Because uh, uh, yeah, that happens with that happens with um, fires with forest fires. If you if you find yourself in a forest fire, and this is a, a tip um, that is real. If you see a forest fire on either side of the road and you're in a car. Don't put your car in that road because your car won't work because it needs oxygen to for the engine unless it's electrical. In which case, also don't go there. Try to stay away from the fire. But if it's if it's um you know uh, internal combustion engine, yeah, your car will will um your car will stall will stall out because the 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 engine won't have enough oxygen to create the explosion because the fire will consume everything in the in the, in the in the air. It'll consume all the oxygen. So not only will you not be able to breathe while well, you're inside of the car, so you'll breathe for a little bit, but the car won't be able to breathe. It'll stop and you will die. So please stay away from forest fires and uh, yeah, be very careful. Either way, the scorpion hisses at you. Ah, it can talk after all. Ah, 
A flow of glowing slime flies out of its mouth and hits you on the chest. It begins to shoot flames outward. The target is only warm, but everyone nearby begins to be burned. And by be burned is uh, we're poisoned. That is uh, what happens. Don't ask. Uh, it is an infernal scorpion. We have dealt with these. Unfortunately, I'm also a little bit on fire. Let's go with the restoring rain here. Not on fire, sorry. <laughs> a little bit uh, taking damage. Uh, yes, haste is good, mostly because let's see if we can stun it. Of course, you can stun it. It's like I'm an I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Why do I think I'll ever be able to stun an enemy in this game? I I don't know. I don't I don't understand why I think silly things like that. Okay, I played my cards very well because it required five action points to reach the, the scorpion. I figured the scorpion was gonna be melee only. It turns out it is. Um, so. Let's go ahead. So it's immune to everything, right? Well, not really. Curse resistance is 25. Critical chance is 25. Speed bonus is 65. It's amazing. Um, maybe... I think terror is a curse, right? No, that's mental. You think it's mental, right? Curse is like weaken and things. Well, weaken and weaken. So I'll just shock. Let's see what happens here. It hit for a critical of 100 damage. Beautiful. Uh, let's step back. I don't know why it's not giving me all the things. I, it's, I don't know. Sometimes it shows me, otherwise it doesn't. Other times it doesn't. I think it's because of... I don't know. I, I don't understand why sometimes it shows me the path and others it doesn't. It, it's got to be... It's got to have something to do with... Uh, it attacked twice. Uh, it's got to have something to do with the fact that there's people over here. Um, hmm. Okay bad things. We don't have Restoring Rain, unfortunately. Let's keep attacking it. Uh, what is that? That is Void Infection. That sounds bad, but it isn't. It's fine. I should have used a better attack there. Uh, we're gonna go with the Restoring Rain again. Which is unfortunate. Let's go with a Cure. On you. Unfortunately, that is also unfortunate. Because now I switch weapons and I can't do anything. That poison is brutal. Oh, we resisted all of it. And we're evading a bunch of things. Yeah. Uh, should we go with a battle frenzy? Yes. It's better to do a battle frenzy early than it is to. Um, and that's weakness. Nice. Than it is to. Uh, to heal. Basically, you have succeeded in putting a crack in the, cara the carapace of the infernal scorpion. It shrieks, uh, it's, it's talking, talking to us, and stumbles backward. Sho so it's a good marathon runner. Shocked that such a thing could happen, you press the advantage only to be knocked back by another cave quake. Because obviously we're not in Earth, on Earth, where it's a cave, so it's not Earth. The scorpion dives into the lava and swims to the rock island to the north. The cave quake continues. You realize with horror that the island is crumbling behind you. Huge sheets of rock sliding into the lava. We're still in combat. So I think... This is a very interesting thing. It's the first time the game does this. No, it isn't. I'm just a silly person. The game allows me to stop being in combat. I'm just gonna not gonna do that because I got my. Um. We see the enemy though. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um. I have my my haste and whatnot. And uh, this way, I can do something. Uh, let's get something here. It requires walk five. That's not very good. Let's try walk four and then try to do a bull rush. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't work. Uh, let's keep, keep attacking it. The game... Oh, void infection. Okay, that's, that's not that great. Good. Vicious strike, bleeding, stun resisted. Um, yeah, you're... What is Void Infection for? All uh, At the beginning of each of combat turn, does magical damage to all four allies within four spaces. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. Let's uh, 
Step back. Evasion. Yeah, those evasions are... I'm being very unlucky here. Uh, I don't even know what just happened, but something happened. Oh, you went over there. Okay. We're applying a lot of vicious strikes. This is going to be another one of those fights. Do you realize that? I'm sure. So I'm not really pointing it out. One of those fights where uh, it is going to be extremely easier if I... Uh, let's just keep attacking. If I know in advance what uh, what's going to happen. And obviously, I don't know in advance what's going to happen. No, freaking hell, I hate it. I hate it so much that they spawn scorpions. It is so aggravating. Haven's Mercy. It didn't apply there. No, it, yeah, he it didn't. Okay, that's good. It is so aggravating. I hate it. Okay, that's a lot of damage there, which is uh, perfectly fine. Let's keep focusing on, on the big one. Uh, let's do a an icy wave. Uh, scorpion did not uh, dodge, which is amazing. The infernal scorpion shrieks in terror. Talking again. It slams both of its claws against the ground, which means it can play the drums. This summons some of its larger children to join the brawl. Okay, that is perfectly acceptable and good. I do not... I'm not angry at this at, at all. This is okay. Life is good when you're when you're a ninja block. Okay. And then step away. Let's do more damage. Ah oh, man, that I needed that bleeding. I'm pretty sure I needed that bleeding. And now we're slowed. And uh, life is not as good. Haste and poison. Oh, that wasn't poison. Okay, uh, so what do I do? I just go down there, most likely, because I think you're going to die, potentially. Well, whirl, whirlwind... Yeah, there it is, Big Bacon. At last, the infernal scorpion collapses to the ground. Its shell crumbles. Goo flows out in all directions. It smells like delicious cooked crab, though you hesitate to eat any of the thing. You cut... up oh, because, of course, that's the, the thing that you're worrying about in this situation. You cut its big, glowy stinger off. Someday, when you have your own palace, it'll make a really nice trophy. Because, of course, you know, in, the, in a society like the, the Society of Queen's Wish, you, you don't inherit... Inherent. Inherit? Inherit, that's the word. Uh, you don't inherit the um, the riches of your family. You're uh, you're going to make your own castle. It's like, you know, modern-day America. Because, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, let's go with the uh, Restoring Rain. That is pretty good because it cures the uh, the other thing that's bad. Okay, these things are, are pretty... They're pretty bad. They attack twice and just... I hate it. Okay, yeah, you're not really... Blocking is just... You know, it doesn't, doesn't work. <laughs> blocking mostly just is pointless. I mean, they get... It's it's a nice thing, but it's... it's you can't really really rely on... Um, on blocking to, to make strategic decisions. It's just... Whatever will happen, will happen, and... Uh, that, there it is. Because evasion is nice as well, so it's, it's just... You'd think that blocking would work... Perhaps in a different way. And when I say a different way, I mean with different... Chances of avoiding damage from evasion. But, uh, yeah. Things are really bad. Really, really bad. Can I heal you? With a healing wave. Yes, I can. Just being absolutely brutalized. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. Uh, healing's, uh, Haven's Mercy. That thing is disappearing. The game didn't really tell me anything about, about, uh, the disappearance. Oh, we didn't even get energy from that. The disappearance of the lava. Oh, it's definitely falling. Oh, my God. Yeah, the game didn't tell, didn't give me any, en uh, uh, not energy. What is it called? Yeah, whatever. You finally entered the ruin. Sure. It was abandoned centuries ago. There are magical runes carved everywhere, and a faint aura of magic still hangs over the place. This was probably where the scorpion monstrosity was created. Because, of course, you know, it was created. Not, not, didn't just, you know, was a, an old scorpion that liked lava for some reason. No, no, it was created. I mean, it's, it's got 
with sparkly things, so... It's not unfair to think that it was created, if you have sparkly things. It likely is a place where you create monsters. We also have some red paint on the floor here. Uh, but nothing... Oh, no, no, it keeps going. It keeps going. Uh, sparkly things. And uh, Quicksilver. Very, very nice. And a Charm of Haven. Guess what? It's totally pointless. Plus 10% curse resist. How long? How often do we get cursed? Very, very unoften. Unoften. That's definitely a word. Iron bar, we don't need that. Dina's Palisade. That is good. That's a level 3 armor. Uh, speaking of which, I am using bad shields. Just not noticed. Did I forget about shields? I did, didn't I? This legendary shield shelters from all uh, from physical damage all al wait what which oh the Yoda sentence here this legendary shield shelters all allies next to the bearer from physical uh, physical damage and the adds plus 2 to shield ally there's a speed penalty of 10 which is a bit of a bummer but that's how that goes maybe that's why i didn't like having better shields, because the downside is pretty tremendous. Maybe I could buy, like, level 3 shields before, and they, they I think, I, I, I recall something like that. I recall complaining about the speed penalty. I think so. Oh, let's also compare the, the flag. I was just complaining about how the ineffective they are. Absorbs up to 80% of the damage, uh, up to, or absorbs 80% of the damage, up to 10, and, well, it's basically, it, it absorbs 10 physical damage and 5 magical damage. Um, but it doesn't show the blockage percentage. How come? Chance to block. It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. Where is it? Physical evasion. Maybe that's what it is. 70% physical evasion is pretty awesome. But it doesn't actually count as 70% physical evasion. It's basically a debuff. As far as I can tell, if the, uh, enemies can have more than 100% hit chance. So if they have 170%, that's 170 minus 70, which means 100% chance to hit. I think. I might be wrong on that. Either way, uh, there's not much else in here. We can't even explore the rest of the molten cheese. I would like to explore the rest of the mol molten cheese. I'm a big fan. Either way, um, good. Let's move. I thought we were going to find... Oh, there's more enemies over here. Excuse me. Okay, whatever. They disappeared. Um, I thought we were going to find the uh, the thing. Let's see. Did we lose... Oh, my God, we did. Oh, well. That is, that's, that's a bummer. That is a real bummer. Hello? A band of escaped Owen have built a small... Hungry colony up here in the mountains. Some of them guard the front fence. They're not happy to have been discovered. As miserable and desperate as they are, they refuse to submit. They point their weapons at you uh, as you approach. And I'm going to talk to them. When you get 30 feet from the gate, one of them shouts, Stop right there! We don't trust anyone! We just want to stay safe and out of the war! Say your piece and go! Uh, That's the wrong piece, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Either way... um. Let me come in and uh, speak with you. No! We barely survived escaping our masters. We've learned not to trust anyone. Just go. We'll leave the mountain when justice is won. Okay. They are very relieved to see you go, but they don't lower their weapons until you are out of sight. How do I know they lower their weapons at all if I'm out of sight? You can see enormous scorpions hunting the path ahead. Stalking the hunt, the path ahead. You because they're not hunting. They're hunting deer or hunting me. But anyway, you can't understand what sustains the, them up here in this dead valley. They effectively guard a narrow path. Uh, pass. They guard a narrow pass effectively. Another reason the Masha haven't sent an army up here that you know of. And we got some scorpions. I shall murder the scorpions. We'll have to find a, a place to teleport, because we're actually in a bit of a bind here. Oh, evasion. Uh, 
Let's see. What are they? What is their... So, physical evasion 25. It doesn't say there to hit chance. So, maybe they don't have a buff to to hit chance. That that those were that that was what you observed. Twenty five percent chance, hit twice. Okay, at least forty percent didn't hit that time. Okay, let's uh, let's keep attacking that, and then a whirlwind. I'm just gonna stay where I am. I note that Mario hasn't gone, and Mario doesn't have the slow. Yeah, Mario is gone now. Uh, it doesn't have the slow thing. Okay, so switch. Whirlwind. There we go. Hitting some people. There we go. Confusion has been cast on Jeff. But that's not a problem. That is a problem. That, that thing hasted. I'd love to confuse it. Okay. Now it's... No, it's still not ours. I wonder if the game... If the... Probably not. The combat is probably not going to stop. If we... Like, right now. Can I press F? I can't. Look at that. I can't attack. You can't attack friendly town folk. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. Oh, game. That happened before, naturally. We we saw that happen. We know exactly what that means. These guys are weird. They're like really, really, really focused on, on the back line. Uh, oh, bacon. Bacon has happened. So what are we gonna find? Hmm, it's promising. Oh, deep ruts in the mountains. And as promising as it were, as it was, it is. It's gonna give me something. Uh, okay. Plated scorpions, poison resisted. Very much a fan, a fan of that. That's two bleedings there. Oh man, it's more poison. Are they just gonna keep throwing poison at me? Because I hate that. I'm gonna need to throw a fireball up in there. Or something. Uh, I'm gonna need to move up as well. Because I think this can hurt. Yeah, this can hit everyone. Well, they all evade, but that's beside the point. Okay, that's a lot of damage. A lot of bleeding as well. And of course, poison for everybody. Except not. They must be very frustrated by the fact that I keep evading their poison attacks. Unresisted, obviously, Marco is gonna get... Oh, Mario, not Marco. What What am I saying? Uh, Mario is gonna get poison and did. And then we have a potential whirlwind. Uh, no, we're not, not, not very good. The one I, I kind of wanted to hit over there, but I couldn't. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna do a... R restoring rain. There we go. Didn't cure everything, but... It's fine. Uh, then let's see. Let's try to get you here. I probably should have moved. Nope, that was okay. That was okay. And critical. Then that's a little bit of bacon. And more poison. Mm, things are not going too well. They are not going too well. Interestingly enough. Jeff is dodging a lot, so I like that. The slowness of attacks, I don't like as much. Please don't confuse anybody. Nope, that was, I mean, it wasn't a hit, but I suppose that's fine. Oh, come on. Let me have my turn. Okay, I want to attack you first, I think. Eh, well, I guess should have attacked over there. No, it didn't matter. Let's still focus on you. That is confusion. And uh, take bacon. And please don't get poisoned. I mean, you got poisoned. There we go. What have we found over here? Eh, we could find something. I doubt it, but we could find. We could be about to find something. You explore this cave and find a host of dried bones. No, but not like a host of skeletons. It's just, it's just bones. The leavings of the massive scorpions outside. The, right, leavings can mean poop, but in this case, 
it, it's just the bones. There is a scattering of coins and jewelry, mostly mundane gold and silver, but one ex expired warrior wears a glittering necklace. You take the necklace and you help yourself to some gold as well. Alas, you have to leave the cave. You see several huge scor- or as you leave the cave, you see several huge scorpions have boxed you in. They are pleased to find that food has delivered itself to their lair. Because they're, uh, they're big fans of Uber, Uber Eats or something, I don't know. That, that was definitely written with that in mind, right? That was, that, like, has delivered itself. That's, that's somebody, that, who, whoever wrote that knows that food can be, you know, as it, as it can be delivered. Which m makes no sense in this setting. It's definitely, sort of a modern expression, I feel. Got a lot of poison up in here. Uh, this is looking good. We're going to need a little bit of healing. Quite a lot of healing, in fact. But uh, that is it's going all right. Let's go with uh, Restoring Rain. That is okay. It's not as good as the uh, Healing Wave, but it is fine. And I'm going to do a Curing there. And hopefully I will do a Bull Rush. I did a Bull Rush and a Stun actually applied. That is very surprising. Mario is dodging all the things. Seems that Mario is, uh... Just, the, the people love to hit him. Uh, let's get more poison up in here. A lot of bacons? Eh, a few. Not too many, but... You know. Can never have enough of them. Uh, let's kill the big one. That is a big bacon. Oh, that guy. is this turn already. Mm, yeah, that poison is not going to be enough to kill... And uh, what are we going to be able to do over here with this plated scorpion uh, miss? Confuse Anna. Hopefully that's not a problem. Block damage poison resisted. Yeah, the fact that blocking doesn't actually uh, doesn't actually impede you from from getting poisoned and bleed and bled out and all that sort of stuff is a bit of a bummer. That I wish I wish it, it didn't work like that. But it does, so uh, we're going to continue our exploration in the next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Queen's Wish. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.